Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just take, taking the time out for yourself just to be patient, being gentle, being able to see your gift as more of a blessing than a curse. And, you know, getting to know yourself all over again to see what you can enjoy so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact or are really going through a dark time right now and they need validation or confirmation if they're on the right path or the wrong one or please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it's truly appreciated from the bottom of my heart i love y'all so so much and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um meditation music i'm using today is 4.5 hertz theta binarial beat sleep music have crystal clear dreams 432 hertz soothing music for sleep and i will post that link in the description box below um and my video today is twin flame oh bless you sweetie um is hey Oka, twin flame 101 hey Oka's following your divine guidance you know it's it's crazy when we go on our you know on a spiritual awakening trying to figure out where is our life taking us you know you might not know uh, what your spiritual purpose here or even your love, you know, your life purpose is, you know, and it's just like Divine is sending you all these different signs, you know, you're supposed to always take heed in the signs that they're giving you You know, there's things that we need to look upon things that we need to uh, Be cautious about signs of making you, you know, to see things for what they truly are Even if sometimes it's not something we want to see, you know, you're always supposed to find your, uh, Follow your divine guidance. This is like I tell people, you know, the people I counsel do one-on-one -on -one, You know, like Rosalind, you know, I'm really having issues with this. Should I go this? way especially when it comes to addiction you know um a lot of people ask me you know Rosalind what if I still keep doing this is gonna give me any issues yeah even if it's with your health yes it will but it's like when I tell people you know when it comes to like addiction and it doesn't always have to be a drug most of the time when people think of addiction they think it's just a drug it could be how you think of yourself how you see others all the time um, how you respond to things um, your thought patterns uh, as well as you know when it comes to addiction addiction when it comes to drugs or whatever you know unless it's like you know you're smoking marijuana for like seizures or cancer or AIDS and stuff like that that's a different story because I know it helps a lot of people with Parkinson's um, with uh, cancer patients as well as AIDS patients and people that has really bad seizures so but anything other than that if you're using it for you know just the like the feeling because you know I used to love it because it took away you know the voices in my head I was always blurting out other people's thoughts and it's, 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 people are looking at me like girl what are you talking about I'm like I don't know where that came from they be looking at me like I was crazy so I used to smoke a lot just to you know get rid of that that you know the voices that were in my head or if I'm having issues with my family trying so hard to get away from it it was always used as an escape and i tell people a lot of times if you're doing it for that you know because you're really going through depression is your fact is you're using it for an escape you're never escaping from it you might just lay it off for a minute but it always comes back and you know they'll try to tell you you know there's things that you need to let go if you're trying to further your life in the divine guidance are you you know you're trying to get on that next level there are certain things you're going to have to let go of there's a lot of things like you have to let go of people that are not positively served you no matter how hard it is you know there are so many people that I had to drop like a bad habit like a hot plate 
like I'm just straight touching my like, uh-uh, it's hot, <laughs> gotta let it go, and it, it was sad, because there's a lot of people I really love to keep in my life, but it, it was either they were stressing me out, or they weren't listening to the things that I was kindly trying to tell them, I was just like, they brought you in my life for a reason, but if you're not gonna listen to me, and you keep complaining about the same thing when I'm obviously telling you the situation, there's no reason for us to keep talking, because you're not gonna stress me out, you're not, <laughs> you know, and it's bad when I had to do that, and I felt really bad for doing it, but it was like that was the best bet for me you know I was using divine guidance you know you help who you're supposed to help you some people you're supposed to be in their life for a lifetime or sometimes a season you know and there's a lot of times people have walked out of your life and you're you know especially when you go through a spiritual awakening you might need really need that shoulder to cry on somebody to vent to and it might seem like the things you're going through is too heavy for certain people trust me the things that I had going on was too heavy people ignored my phone calls when I really truly need to talk to somebody and these are people that I you know anytime they needed me I was there and then I was really hurt about that. And I, you know, I prayed to God and asked universe, why are these people turning their back on me? And I hear God say, I didn't, they are not turning their back on you. You're turning your back on them. They don't need to be in your life. You know, there's, there's places you're going to go that they can't travel with you. It's just not, you know, you're supposed to have these people in your life to learn to live and to love and just keep on going. So it's just like all the things that are coming into your life, pay attention. You know, whether it's, you know, by synchronicity, the things that are going on, are you living in that positive life form? Are you, you pushing out love and light? Are you, you know, living in your divine purpose? Are you being true to yourself? You know, and I had to always constantly ask myself this. Are you, you know, you really being true to yourself? I'm like, yeah, you know, and it's like, eh, no, you're not, you know, because it's just like, you know, I used to be that way. I can push out positivity, but then there will be sometimes I will have a ne negative thinking that will carry that negative darkness with me. And I really had to stop that. And it's just I'm learning every day. I have to not do that because it's just like if I find myself going to that dark place of thinking about things that weren't healthy for me or things that I couldn't change, even as, if it's like me pointing fingers you know I can point fingers at people all day but then you know they're responsible for their actions and you're responsible for yours you know so it's just like when I come to my situation I used to always constantly talk about what my family did to me yeah they did do a lot of stuff but there's a lot of things I could have went through a different direction on me even though I'm learning from my mistakes you know regardless if they don't want to admit what they did I can admit on mine and just keep it real with myself you know as long as I'm keeping it real with myself that's all that matters you know they'll be taken care of in their own way you know you just pray for people that has put you in certain predicaments you pray for them and hope the best for them you give them the best that they deserve and i always tell people especially no matter how you treat me i say i hope god gives you what you deserve and i'm not saying it in being a mean way but you're gonna get whatever is deserved to you you know and it's just leave it at that and you say god bless and keep it moving you know so when you're going through these different things you need to ask yourself are you really you know taking heed what divine guidance is giving you are you guiding you know you're guiding towards your light you know if you know you're trying to look for that light in the, in the tunnel you have to really you can't go about things like you used to that's the reason for the spiritual awakening they wanted you to go a different route there's like things that had to be shaken up in your life for you to really see things for what they were no matter how ugly it is and so dark you had to see that for what it's worth and sometimes we fight those resistance we resist it and the more you resist things, the more the universe will put things in your life that you feel like, oh my God, it's unbearable. I can't deal with this. Why are things coming at me? Why am I being attacked? Obviously, because there's something you were not paying attention to. You know, I tell people, you know, I had to, you know, I was wondering why I kept constantly getting into issues, you know, having, you know, police and stuff coming to my house. It was just really crazy stuff because I was allowing things to get to me and not actually seeing things for what they truly were. You know, these situations had to go on because this is my karma and that's theirs. You know, now it's just like, before I bust your head open, I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> you know, I have to keep on going. You know, just do me. You know, you just pray for people like that, especially if they're abusive and you're trying to get out your situation, but you're still stuck in it. You know, you just do you. You keep doing you. But if there's a way that you know you can walk away from this and you just don't because you feel like, oh, well, let me keep them in my life because they're not going to change. They're going to change. Or, you know, I'm going to give them this chance because I really feel like they're going to change. I tell people, you know what? When people really change, they will show you the actions. They ain't going to just tell you all this, this, and that. You know, they will show you the actions. Like, you know what? I'm changing. I'm, You know, I'm trying to go about it a positive way. You know, 
doing the things that you need to do. But if there's days you can walk yourself out of your situation, please do. Because you don't want to stay in that mess too long. Because it means when you start allowing things to happen, when you clearly see the signs that you need to walk away, walk away. Because if you don't, it's going to get worse. And I've had to tell people that. And if you don't want to listen, i got to keep on moving. <laughs> so I said, I gave you the message. This is what I was here for, to help guide you through these ways. You know what things you need to do. You know how you need to, you know, and I tell people, especially when it comes to addictions too, be able to face your fears and your, your pain head on because that's the only way you can do it. You can't do it when you're high. You can't do it when you're drunk. You're not going to be able to do it that way. You have to be able to do it sober. I mean, trust me, it hurts. It hurts like hell. There are so many days I don't screamed and cried because of the fact is I faced a lot of things I did not want to face. Looked into things I really wanted to just let go of. But it was like when when I started seeing the powers that be kept on saying, you know what, we're so proud of you. We knew it was hard and we knew it was going to be ugly, but you did what you needed to do. You've seen things for what they truly were, but allow us, since you've seen the things and you're taking action on your part of life, let, we're going we're gonna to help you. They're going to help guide you towards the ways that they need to do. They're going to place people in your life that need to be there. You know, it's just like, you know, when you go down your spiritual awakening and a whole lot of people just start you know just start dropping out of your life like like bad habits you know i've heard people say rosal well, my friends and family just left i said because they weren't supposed to be there they're not on the same level as you half of these folks are still asleep so of course they're not going to be able to understand the things you're going through they're not, i mean it's like you're gonna be talking yip, 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 yip. because if you're talking on that plane of awakeness and they're still asleep then that you're talking like a whole different language they have never heard of so it's just like when i love the fact that i'm gravitating towards people and people are gravitating towards me that we're all on the same level we can have deep conversations you can understand what i'm talking about you can teach me something and i'm teaching you something and that's the beautiful thing about it because the people that are out your life they're not going to understand what the heck you're talking about or they're going to try to hold you back especially like i've said before in many videos if people cannot see their dream they cannot see yours either and if they see that you're able to get towards your dreams quicker than they are about theirs even though I'm the type of person I feel like, you know, I've had a lot of haters out there. And I just, you know, it is what it is. But I feel like anybody can make it to that finish line. If God was to bless me with a certain situation, what makes you think they can't do the same for you? But your journey is your journey and my journey is my journey. Don't worry about where mine is. It's like you're going to go certain places. People are not going to understand. But that is your journey. You keep doing you. As long as you know you're following divine guidance, that's all that's, that, that's all that's important. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Please drop me a line. Let me know your total feedback. It's all greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and go ahead and I'll go ahead. If you're new to the channel, I always make sure I give people a shout out when they first drop a line or whatever. Or even if I see you subscribe, I'll go ahead and uh, call your name out. So I will see you on my next video. I hope you have a blessed, safe, joy joyful weekend. Be safe and responsible for everything you do. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shout out goes to Eddie M., and with expectancy and Yasmin S. Much love to you and I will see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.